French real estate purchase, a possible way to reduce the cost. Hello everybody, this is David over at ESRA France. We're your source for English speaking French real estate agents in all of France and French real estate information in English. Remember, if you haven't already got a copy of our 10 mistakes to avoid when you're dealing with French real estate, check out that free ebook that's available on our website at esrafrance.com. Now, how could you possibly save some money on your purchase of a French real estate, piece of French real estate, pardon me. Recently, I heard about this idea and thought I would share it with you. Normally, when somebody is purchasing a property in France, you may be aware that uh, you have to pay the notary's fees. And the notary's fees, frais de notaire, as it said in English, is not just a, a fee for the notary for his work, but is also taxes and other fees that are involved in the purchase of your French property. Typically, this fee is paid by the purchaser of the property. Now, if you're buying a property, you may be getting a mortgage on the purchase price of the property, and then you may have some monies, some part of the deposit that you're going to use or some cash you have to pay your notary fees. Now, as part of the negotiation on your purchase of the property, you could try out this idea that I've heard about. No guarantee it's going to work, but maybe it could work out to be your benefit. When you're looking for a reduction in the price, when you're negotiating with your English-speaking French real estate agent with the current owner of the property, you could suggest that the owner, instead of yourself, the owner being the seller, instead of yourself as the buyer, they pay the complete notary fees. And this would mean that there's a savings for you. And also, if you had to come up with the amount for the notary fees as a cash amount, you would be able to avoid having to do that. So this is just a simple idea. You could check into it. No guarantee it's going to work, but it's a, it's a new approach that I heard about and thought I would mention to you. So once again, normally as a buyer, you will be the one who's paying all the notary fees when you're purchasing a piece of French real estate. But as part of the negotiation, instead of asking for a reduction in price, you could ask for the seller of the property for them to take responsibility for paying of the fees. Of course, everything, as always, needs to be in writing. Get advice from your French real estate lawyer or your notary to make sure that when you have somebody agreeing to something, make sure that it is in writing. We're not responsible for giving you legal advice. We're just sharing with you educational ideas. This is David over at ESRA France. We're your source for English-speaking French real estate agents in all of France. Make sure, as mentioned before, that you get a copy of our free ebook. And if you haven't purchased your piece of beautiful French real estate, make sure you check out our 110 Tips French Real Estate Buyer's Guide that's available for you on our website. And if you're thinking of spending time in France renting a property prior to purchasing, we also have a French Real Estate Renter's Guide. And both of these ebooks come with checklists that can be very helpful for you during the process. David over at ESR France, wishing you a very good day and make sure you subscribe wherever you've listened to this audio information session to keep in touch. Bye for now.